Hi everyone, it's Louis again with another great tutorial and today for anyone that has ever dreamed of selling their music files or their sound files on their own website, this is definitely something for you to watch. Now I'll be showing you how to do this without any third party software, no iTunes, no subscriptions, all you'll need is a PayPal account and if this is something you're interested in, then keep watching. Okay, let's get started. Now in order to entice our customers into buying our tracks, we need to obviously give them a snippet of the actual uh, audio so they can hear it and then make a choice on whether they want to purchase or not. And you can use a number of different software to accomplish this. I'm using Pro Tools at the moment. If you can't afford Pro Tools, that's okay. There is a program called Audacity, which is free of charge and you can download that at this address up here. And I'll make sure I include this address in the details. So pretty much what you're doing is creating a small snippet for them to have a listen to. And just have it fade out. And you need to do this for every single track that you're going to have on your website for sale. That's the first part done. The next thing we need to do is upload these tracks to our server, but before we do that, in order to have them as downloadable tracks, uh, once the customer purchases the actual uh, audio, we need to have every track uh, zipped, the main ones, not the sample one, not the one that's going to be played, but the actual track that's going to be sold. So we'll just uh, right click and add to archive and zip and then just click OK and now it's created an actual zip file so that's the first part and we need to do this for every single track that we're actually selling not the sample that we're playing now for those of you who have never uploaded uh, files to your server before it's not that difficult you need to download a program called FileZilla and FileZilla is a free program. Uh, you can get it from this address here, filezilla-project.org, and just download it. And once you have downloaded it and open it up, this is what it will look like. All you need to do is put in your host ID, or your host address, I should say. Uh, this could be a host name or IP address, your username, password, and just quick connect. And once you have done that, this is the box here we need to look at and you need to go down to where it says public underscore html double click on that and we're just going to go to our test account and all we need to do now is drag across from wherever you've saved your your files uh, both the actual sample and the one that we zipped up before which will be the one that will be for sale so I'll just pause the video for now okay so now the files are both uploaded to the server and you have to do this for every single file that you want to sell so you'll need a sample file and which will be the snippet of the actual file you're selling and the file that will be downloadable in the end which needs to be zipped up. So this part is now done. The next thing we need to do is come up with an mp3 player that will actually play the snippet for the customer to hear and I recently did a tutorial on this particular mp3 player which is free of charge and also it doesn't uh, display any ads or anything like that so it's quite a nifty one and you can have a, a variety of different skins as well so you need to go to flash-mp3-player.net once there uh, just click on normal and we need to go to generator so we don't need to download anything here this is quite easy to use go to generator and you can change this player to look like anything you want it to I mean pretty much this section I'd leave alone I wouldn't change anything uh, you could fool around with the colors and change some of the colors around but we won't go into that right now and the main part here is to add the entire URL to the actual sample file that we created so that would be Or 
forward slash test and forward slash sample dot mp3 then we need to copy this code down the bottom and you need to paste that into your HTML editor um, whatever you might be using for that and position that wherever you want to have it displayed on your actual page and that's it for this part the next thing we need to do is go into our PayPal account and create our button now I've done another tutorial on this you can uh, watch that on, on my channel on how to create a PayPal buy now button so I won't go through all of that again um, so we'll go to create new button now I'm using PayPal sandbox to test all of this so we'll name the file just sample we'll give it a price of say $1.50 now we can actually have a customizable button if we want but we'll just use the standard one for now and go down go to step 3 and just click no here and no here and right here we need to provide the URL that the customer will be taken to after their purchase which will be the download so we'll type that in forward slash test forward slash main dot zip so it's not mp3 it's in a zip file so main dot zip uh, just keep in mind you won't have to do the forward slash again because I've actually got a site um, within a site here so yours will be your site forward slash main dot zip and let's create the button and this is the code and we need to copy that code and place that in our HTML editor and position the button where we want it to be positioned so that's this part covered okay so here we are now on the actual page itself and this obviously I haven't created a full website here I'm just wanting to show you what it's going to look like with the two components so here's the player click on that okay it's played the sample beautifully the customer likes it he goes add to cart we'll go to checkout and we'll put in my sandbox email Oops, sorry. and just wait for that to log in pay now for some reason it's not liking my ID for I don't know why but hopefully it works this time let's try that again and it's done so now as you can see here it's saying return to Barry White's test store um, I don't know why I used that name it was just the spur of the moment if I click on that there it is I can open that zip file and there is the file right there it's as simple as that so that pretty much uh, covers it now if you want to sell an entire album it's just as easy you just select all the tracks on that album and zip that whole entire uh, file up as one file and then when they download it uh, as an album all the tracks will appear in the zip file so I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial if it's helped you out please uh, like this video and also subscribe to my channel if you have any uh, questions please uh, leave your comments down below and I will see you guys very shortly